Okay, good, good. Yes, Has, yes. I mean, the, what we were talking about was the administration's track record of trying things that don't seem to be doing anything either to combat inflation or get the economy moving right. again. And as I was out in our counties in Tennessee, I was in five different counties, and David, this is exactly what people are asking. They want to know what we're going to do about it right now to stop some of this. And then after November, what is the pathway back? Because just as you said, they feel like what is happening is going to be a years long recovery. And they lived through the Obama years and the Great Recession. And Trump brought the economy back. The American job creator brought the economy back. And so now they're looking at this and they're saying, somebody's got to do something. And right now, one of the things that we ought to do is to put a stranglehold on this out of control government spending. When you read all the reports, what do they talk about? The cost of energy and the out of control spending. So let's get that under control. Let's make certain that we are freezing federal hiring. Let's make certain that we're freezing federal salaries. And they've already spent $6.8 trillion on COVID, and now Joe Biden wants to spend another $2 trillion. The economy does not need this. What we need is to get inflation down. What we need to do is open up U.S. energy. And there are things the Biden administration could do today. Well, what, what about what, what could Republicans do? I mean, if, if Republicans do regain the House and the Senate, what could they do to stop uh, President Biden from going any further down, down a dead end? Well, one of the things, as I mentioned, a federal hiring freeze, freezing salaries, making certain that we begin to work our way toward a balanced budget. Those are things that make a difference. And that, and then looking at energy, overriding some of these rules and regulations. You know, he has passed 69 regulations since he took office. Most of those are focused on the energy sector. Putting a CRA on those regulations, recalling them, getting them off the books, opening up Alaska, opening up offshore, making certain that we return to energy dominance. That is how you tackle this problem. Would you have because any? Would, forgive me for interrupting. It's not going to get better until energy. Would you gets have? Better. Would you have any Democrats uh, who would be willing to join you in that effort, so you could have a veto-proof uh, uh, majority there to stop the president? The American people would like to see Democrats work with us to get the cost at the pump down. In Tennessee, we're right there pushing $5 a gallon. It was 217 in June of 2020. This is not a Democrat or a Republican problem. It is the American people's pocketbook problem, and it is all caused by this administration. You know, Democrats are now trying to shade all the bad economic news that's coming out with the January 6th committee, with their, their primetime show last week. Today, they had another one. Uh, clearly one-sided because there's no pushback. It's just uh, all of the all of the members there have one point of view, and they're they're pushing that point yeah. of view. Uh, Senator Scalise was interested. Or excuse me, Congressman Scalise was interested in in finding out where all of the money came from to support the show because it's clear that the the senators there had had pre-scripted uh, points to make with a very uh, uh, kind of televised way of, of promoting with elements and so forth. He said, who exactly paid the former ABC News producer to produce the Dems' January 6th political show, or did he volunteer his time as an in-kind contribution? Either way, it's potentially illegal. American taxpayers deserve answers. Have you been looking for answers? We have. Indeed, last week we were trying to find out who it was that was paying for this. And we're still trying to find that out. And Congressman Scalise is absolutely right. Is it an in-kind contribution? Is it being paid for with taxpayer funds? That is not appropriate. You cannot pay for political advertisements with taxpayer funds. And we all know that is clearly what this is. And it is a show trial and it is not getting to the bottom of what happened. Where are Pelosi's emails? 
Where are the communications that she had? Uh, why did she choose not to call out the National Guard that had been approved for her by the Department of right. Defense? And those are all components. Why were Capitol Police not prepared? Those are answers that are valid. They're questions that are valid that are in search of answers, but oh no. This is all about trying to say Donald Trump, uh, we're going to blame him, and it is one-sided. It is the Democrats' version of a show trial. Well, please let us know if you find out answers to any of Will those do. questions. They're very interesting questions. Senator, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. Good to it. see you. Well, gas